Hi, this is Dr. Mercola, and today I'd like to clear up some confusion about coconut oil. And this confusion exists because 90% of the fat in coconut oil is saturated. And many health experts in the media are continually telling you that saturated fat is unhealthy, and I'm telling you this is a myth. And let me explain how this myth started. In around 1950, a pioneer investigator by the name of Ansel Keys made the observation that the uh, uh, ha epidemic of heart disease at that time appeared to be related to hydrogenated vegetable oil. Well, that got the edible oil industry, a very large industry, very concerned and upset. So they immediately got on their marketing bandwagons and tried to vilify another fat, which is the saturated fat. And it turns out that this hydrogenated vegetable oil, it is, it is the trans fat that is the primary con, uh, factor that's contributing to the observation of an increase in heart disease and other, and other uh, damages, such as Alzheimer's and brain diseases. So clearly, you, you, you want to avoid, like the plague, any hydrogenated uh, oils, uh, any trans fat. That should be avoided. That's very clearly established. There's no controversy there. Where the controversy exists is that frequently, when in this process where you hydrogenate the oils, that uh, it typically occurs that there's saturated fat. So saturated fat has been unfairly villainized over the last 50 years because of this process and many healthcare professionals are just simply confused about this and uh, don't have time to go into uh, more details here but there are uh, two links below this video which go into more details Dr. Enig's article and another article from the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition and that will explain it in greater detail but let me talk a little bit more about why coconut oil, oil is good for you you see although 90 percent of the fat in there is saturated fat 50 percent half of the fat in coconut oil is uh, a fat called lauric acid. And lauric acid is a medium chain of fatty acid which has antibacterial, antiviral, and antiprotozoal properties. And your body converts this to monolaurin. And monolaurin is a, mo is a monoglyceride which is very potent and it can actually destroy lipid coated viruses. So this is a, one of the, the key reasons that you, you, you would, would like to consume or consider consuming coconut oil because the sources of monolaurin are very few in, in our diet. So this is a, it's a phenomenal source of monolaurin. Um, so the, another, some cautions about coconut oil you may or may not know in that it has a relatively high melting point. And that means for most of us it is a solid at room temperature. It turns liquid about 76 degrees. So if you put coconut oil in the fridge, it's going to be very difficult to, uh, to scoop out. So you'd, you'd, you'd want to store it in, in, a, in a temperature closer to 76. Uh, so, so this way it'll be easy to, to remove. Now it has many health benefits. It seems to be a very effective supporter of thyroid health, uh, uh, thyroid function, uh, which helps people uh, optimize their metabolic rate and control their weight and heart health. These are all really important, well-documented uh, observations on the use of coconut oil. It's also one of the main ingredients that we use in our body butter. Many people like to apply this topically because of what it does to their skin. But uh, we've had lots of great comments, and I encourage you to view the comments in, our, in, our, in a link below or in our store about the peop what people have been saying. But, but the, 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 the general just in summary of it is that many people just find it to be one of the best ones out there in the market with respect to its taste, its flavor, and uh, the, the way it smells. It's just it's really, truly remarkable. So uh, coconut oil is something that I uh, really enjoy and use quite regularly myself. Uh, I try to have some regularly throughout the week because I, of, of uh, all the health benefits that it provides. And, and uh, I would just want to make sure that, uh, that you're, you're aware of these things and details. And uh, it's important also, though, that uh, it's ideally you want to know what your nutritional type. I happen to be a protein type, so I need lots of fat in my diet. But if you are a carb type and you're biochemically and genetically designed to have small or lower amounts of fat, then you're going to want to limit the amount of coconut oil. And if, if for any reason uh, coconut oil makes you nauseous or you get sick from it, then that's a clue that your body uh, should not be using this or you need it in very small amounts. So that happens very rarely, but that's really true for, for any food. Uh, if, if your body violently objects to it, you want to stay away from it because allergies, of course, can be an issue. So 
I hope you to consider this information to clear up a lot of the confusion that many people have about the saturated fat that's in coconut oil. It is, it is healthy for you as long as it's not heated and cooked. And what all, uh, additionally, many people find that it's a, it's a useful oil to cook in. It's, it's an alternative to olive oil. Uh, it uh, tends, because there's so much saturated fat, uh, it, it is very difficult to oxidize any of the, the fats in there. So as a result, it's less damaged when you heat it. But ideally, the bulk of your, sh your food should be raw and un un uncooked. But if for some reason you're going to choose to cook food, then coconut oil would be a good oil to consider. So hopefully this information will be useful for you and your family to continue to take control of your health.